a Martian. Um, I have. I have always felt like I was a little bit off center from what would be commercially played on the radio or um, or commercially successful in those ways. And I, I've come to terms with that. I feel like that's, um, I think to be faithful to, to your own voice and your own calling, whatever that looks like, it may not mean commercial success, but as long as you're being faithful to it, there's a sense of fullness and, and um, you know, just knowing you're in the right place and doing the right thing. Um, that is gratifying. There are moments I'm like, oh, I wish, I don't know, I want more people to hear it. But I think that's really an ego struggle more than anything. And I think that um, it's not one that should guide the decisions you make in terms of art or in terms of even just art and being a human being and the people that are around you and how you live your life. It has to be sustainable and it has to be faithful to those inner callings that you feel as you make, as you go out and make the art. Um, I think I have changed a lot in the last 10 years as a writer, as a person, I think um, I've enjoyed being in my 30s. It's really been kind of a new freedom as a, as a human being, not just in one particular area, but I feel like one of the...